Hello again, and it's good to be with you. Now, do you ever have doubts about God or wonder whether he exists at all? Now, even strong believers can have moments of doubt, and many of us will experience it too, if we haven't done already. Now, we might feel ashamed of our areas of unbelief or try to hide them from God, thinking that he'll be angry with us. But when someone is honestly and sincerely questioning, he will patiently answer and soothe those doubts. And we can see this in the story of the disciple Thomas in John chapter 20, who doubted that Jesus had risen from the dead. And so, when we're doubting, what can we do? Well, I'd like to share with you three ideas on what we can do. Firstly, we should talk to God. The most important thing we can do is be honest about our doubts and tell God about them. This can be difficult, of course, if we're struggling to believe he exists, but he will hear us and answer us. Thomas didn't actually express his doubts directly to Jesus, but Jesus still knew about them and showed up to help him at the right moment. And the second thing we can do is to look for signs of God's work. Romans chapter 1 verse 20 reminds us that ever since the world was created, people have seen the earth and sky. Through everything God made, they can see clearly his invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature. The delicate balance and complexity of nature and the world we live in shouts of God's power and hand at work. And then thirdly, we can listen to what others have to say. Hearing or reading about someone else's experiences of God at work in their lives can give us confidence that he is real and that he loves us. We might not be in the same situation, but every story we hear of him coming through for other people adds to the evidence for God and encourages us to trust in him. And so why don't you write about any situations or moments that you have experienced when you've had a glimpse of God's goodness and power? Keep what you've written to encourage yourself when you're having doubts about God, and maybe even to encourage others who you know are also struggling. Let's pray. The special prayer for this week. Eternal Lord, our beginning and our end. Bring us with the whole creation to your glory, hidden through past ages and made known in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let's finish by sharing the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.